Okay, I've got my gauge pot partially uh, put together here. And what it is, is it has an aluminum plate underneath it. It's not very thick of a plate either. And I have it, these uh, PVC pipes uh, uh, actually JB welded into the, 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 uh, the aluminum there. Seems to do a pretty good job holding it in place. Well, I've got the gauge uh, pod holder uh, all together here. And um, I have painted it black. This is aluminum back. Got some slots, black paint. It's kind of hard to see it. Two slots here to allow a little bit of adjustment. And I've got some holes in the top here and on the sides for uh, routing the wires uh, from the headliner. And um, I'm ready to put it together. It didn't turn out too bad. Um, and I used a JP weld here to, to uh, and of course, roughed up the surface on the PVC pipe and the aluminum plate here to get good bonding. And uh, really, I just sanded the JB weld, and um, you know, we'll see how this turns on out. Um, and then, again, those gauges are a snug fit, so I'm hoping just to slide them on in there, and and that be, should be sufficient. So uh, we'll put this together and see how it looks. I'm going to put on this uh, this uh, fuel pressure gauge. And you can see this is the glow shift. I picked the glow shift just because it seemed like it uh, uh, was what I was looking for in terms of the pressure and range. And uh, if you open up the kit here, you can see what you all get in there. Um, put the camera out here for a second. You can see you get the pressure sensor in there. You get a little um, piece here that gives you, I guess you can put the, take the glare off the gauge. Put a little clamp on there. And of course the sensor. And that sensor there has a 1 8 inch NPT on it. And let me show you what I have to put that on so you get a better idea on how this all gets plumbed on up. We're going to zoom on in here. There's a, a fitting in the back side of your fuel, uh, your fuel, uh, I guess you could call it your fuel filter bowl. And that's that one fitting right there that I got the socket on. We're going to take that on out. And we're going to put the uh, little bit of an adapter in here. I guess you can find these online. This is a 1 8 inch NPT on one side, and that screws on into the same place that that plug goes into, into that fuel filter bowl. But if you take a look here, and you try to put that sensor, uh, you got a bunch of interference stuff right behind it, so it doesn't really quite fit very well if you try to plug it on in this way with that adapter. Well, the, the best way to get around that is to get yourself a little bit of an elbow here. And now you, you put that uh, uh, elbow onto the adapter and you uh, plug that all on up, uh, plumb it on up and screw in the pressure sensor from the top. And that should give you the sufficient clearance that you need to get access to this. So, so I've got the adapter, a 90 degree fitting with a 1 8 inch NPT. And this NPT on the female side plugs into the, the sensor. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try and see how this all looks at, at, after I finish up. Okay, I just got the, the sensor on here. Uh, as you can see, I've got the adapter uh, that from uh, the fuel bowl here, 90 degree elbow, and then that f feeds into the, the sensor itself. And of course, all of that's 1 8 inch NPT. So, um, that's uh, pretty much good to go. Just ready to wire it on up and that'll finish that part of the, the project. Okay, hey, this is the glow shift gauge with the water temperature sensor. And it goes all the way up, of course, to 300 degrees. The, one of the things I like about this particular sensor is that it, it actually gives you a um, pretty good indication of the, the full range of temperatures. Whereas a regular gauge doesn't necessarily give you that that uh, that uh, clarity as far as what the actual temperature may be, and if I open up this package here, of course that's just a per personal preference. I mean, it, really any gauge is is uh, pretty darn good. Um, if you open up the package here, you'll see. Of course, you get the the temperature gauge here, and then you get the kit, and really it's that that. Uh, that piece right here, which is the, the sensor that goes into your into your uh, cooling system, we're gonna 
set things on up here for installing that, that temperature probe. And of course, this is your housing for your thermostat. You have a port here to plug on into, and that's the ideal port that you can hook up your temperature sensor. And yes, on the other side here, you do have your temperature sensor right there. Um, but the resolution on that sensor, it doesn't really tell you anything on the dash other than it's cold or hot, and, and I'd like to have a much better idea as far as what the actual temperature is. So, um, the sensor itself for the glow shift gauge is on a 1 8 inch NPT, and that, by the way, is not a 1 8 inch NPT. Um, so it's uh, pretty straightforward. All you need to do is get a little adapter. So the adapter is that 1 8 NPT and the other guy plugs on into this. And I think, I think this is a uh, 1, one uh, quarter NPT. I could be wrong. Um, I can't remember exactly. I did the, the, the uh, looking on up on it. But, um, but nonetheless, if you, you just, it's like 0.6. I, I think it's like a 1 quarter uh, inch NPT. But um, anyway, it's just a matter of unscrewing that plug there and putting these, uh, this adapter and sensor on it, and, and at least that will take care of um, this part of the installation. And as you can see, I've got my boost gauge here going on, hooked up to the map sensor, and actually that uh, fitting right there. I don't know if you can actually see it, but it's, it's down there below. So um, just tee it on into it. It's quarter inch hose, one eighth inch uh, tubing coming off of it. And uh, so that's it for the boost gauge. Okay, well, this is the oil filter housing itself. You can see the port. I don't know if I can put my finger there or not. But the port, the pressure, is right over here in the corner here. And that's a 1 8 inch NPT. So that's where the oil is coming on out. And I'm going to run that on up with, a, of course, the EN fitting. And run it on up to the, uh, the oil filter there. All right, so this is what I got from the top. Uh, of course, the input there is in the center, and the output is on, the, on that uh, perimeter, more or less. And I put a T in here. And the reason I put a T in here is I'd, I wanted to have another uh, oil pressure sensor in the system. I don't like the idea that I don't really know what the oil pressure is. Uh, of course, you get the oil pressure gauge in the dash, but um, you know I'd like to know a little bit more about what the actual value is. And especially when you're hooking in this secondary uh, the bypass oil filter system, it'd be kind of nice to know if there's any issues at all um, with the oil pressure. So I've got this all plumbed on in. Now, this is actually a glow gauge set on up. The uh, all of this is one eighth inch NPT. Just a quick little video on, on the wiring here. I've got my, my fuel pressure sensor hooked on up and I've got the little corrugated uh, conduit there. And then the other end of it, of course, feeds on down to the, the uh, water temperature sensor. Um, take a quick uh, video of that. As you can see the water temperature sensor there, this corrugated uh, line all the way down there. So that covers this part. Wiring these things on up, one of the the sensors has to be one of the ends of the wires has to be hooked up to the ground, and so I've got all three wires here heat shrunk together here and crimped with a uh, a connector that's uh, secured to the ground on the cab. So that takes care of this part of the wiring. With the headliner removed, the uh, pictures show the sheet metal brackets that were formed and installed for the gauge pod holder. It also shows the wires that are routed on up with the, the boost hose. Okay, I'm getting ready to put this thing on up there. I've got my first my mounting bolts right there, and I have uh, actually I'm going to use those two holes there. The um, the visor uh, blocks. If you put it symmetrically in the center there, it, the visor will block one of the gauges. So I'm going to slightly move it to the right so I can see all the gauges all the time. Uh, whether or not the visor is down. So I've got a wire mess here. Um, there's, a, as far as the wires go, you get one wire for each one of the sensors, and the other wire that's hooked up to the sensor goes to ground. So for, um, in this case, since I have three sensors and a boost gauge, th only three wires are for the sensors that are coming up here. The other wires are nothing more than 
the uh, constant 12 volt supply and that's for the, the keeping whatever color you have set for your boost gauge set in that color otherwise it'll go back to default every time you turn the key off um, of course there's a 12 volt key on on there and as well as the headlight which is uh, optional there I guess you can turn that on uh, wire it up or not so um, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and bundle those side up and, and, and gently slide those wires underneath there. I've got the, the um, of course, the headliner uh, fasteners up in the front here off. Uh, before, I actually had the headliner down, so I, I put that mounting bracket there with the headliner down. Uh, in order to do that, of course, you need to re remove some of the interior, which is, uh, uh, you know, just takes some time. So uh, that's it for right now. Um, go ahead and wrap this thing on up here. Okay, you can't, the lighting isn't so good, but, but just to give you some idea here, you can see that this is 2 inch PVC and it's snug in there. So, um, that's a, gosh, the lighting isn't so good in here, but, uh, so anyway, yeah, that's pretty much, uh, just sliding those gauges on in there with a snug fit. So that's it for right now. Okay, I'm just going to quick go over the, some of the features of this glow gauge. Um, you can, of course, turn the key on, and um, you can see whatever the temperatures are right now. Uh, first gauge, of course, water temp, oil pressure, second gauge, third gauge, fuel pressure, and then the last gauge you see on the very right is the boost gauge. Now that's just a, a hose tapped in, of course, the, uh, the actual boost line. And... Um, if I were to go ahead, I can actually change the colors here, whatever color I want, um, uh, white, blue, or whatever, which is kind of a nice feature. So I think that pretty much covers the the, uh, the gauge itself. And you can see here it's a little bit warm gone up, but um, fuel pressure is right around 70 psi. Boost at idle is pretty much zero. Uh, oil pressure here. Looks like about 20 psi. And then lastly, here we've got the, the water temperature. It's uh, only up to 180 degrees. It's actually pretty cold outside. It's in the 20s, so um, that's understandable. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it.